The scenario is you're starting a business and of course a business has its logistical aspect that you need to address. A small utility vehicle is what you need. Your business just got underway and you cannot take on another hefty loan to add to the initial cost that you had to pour in for your business to start. You want to have something that even if you have to pay on a monthly basis, it would not be that burdensome. Nothing fancy, just simple, very accessible. Reliability and function are the words that matter to you. I believe I have the answer for you. This is the all new Toyota Light Ace. Welcome to the stick shift. It can be looked at as a multi-cab, small commercial vehicle, but whatever you want to identify it, one thing is for sure, it is a great alternative for a utility vehicle. The design is quite simple, it is just like a simple box, but it would be unfair to leave it at that, since there's a lot of functionality that goes along with this design. One thing I want to point out though is that the front, as simple as it is, or vanilla as you may look at it, but the way the design team has retained that somewhat nose in front. It's really nice since the original Light Ace did already have this type of design. The reason I mentioned this is because the front of the car can absorb impact better, adding more to the safety aspect of the vehicle. With that front design, it allowed for the things that you need to check with the car to be very accessible like the fluids, the coolant, it's just right there. You don't need to pop open the engine bay which is located right beneath the driver's seat. Overall for me, I like the front fascia. It looks cute. It does not have any characters of that strong appeal to it. It is just like smiling back at you and telling you, choose me. I am way easy to handle, easy to drive, and I am hardworking. You can't depend on me, like a good old friend. Going to the side all the way to the back, it is pretty much straightforward. No character lines or curves that is there to impress you. Since it is not made that way, it is made to impress you with its function. For example, there are the huge sliding doors for each side, giving the comfort of sliding in and out for the boxes and stuff that you need to put in day in and day out. It's great that for each side it has that sliding door since you don't need to go at the other side where the other door is located so that you can put in your stuff or put it out. It's very accessible. Inside the Light Ace, you may say that it is a utility vehicle, nothing much to see there, but with the way the dashboard was designed and laid out, I mean, it does not look cheap at all. The steering wheel looks modern, like simple modern you may say. The gear shift is designed in the dashboard. It pops right there in the middle to give you more floor space and no need for you to reach out below like the usual way other vehicles are designed. And it has a certain level of convenience to it. The instrument cluster is simple with just the information that the driver needs. Nothing there that isn't self-explanatory. The AC control knobs are there, you get a couple of cup holders on each side. There's an infotainment system that has a CD tray and can be connected via Bluetooth. Overall, I like the way the color of the dashboard, it's black. And the curves that it has, since you're just not looking at a straight line, it's not a boring design at all. What really impressed me the most about this car is that it, it has dual SRS airbags, ABS, vehicle stability control, and the seat belts are there of course. I do want to mention that there is a central locking door system even for the back doors as well. That is an important feature knowing the purpose of this vehicle. Length is 4,045mm, wide at 1,665mm, height at 1,930mm, and you got a payload capacity of 790 kilograms. Speaking of payload, the engine that powers the new Light Ace is a 1.5 liter 4 cylinder 16 valve double overhead cam with variable valve timing. And it's a gas engine, of course. It is quite a familiar engine spec if you ask me, and I know all of you are familiar with it since it is being used by other Toyota models that are very popular in the market. But the one that was used for the Light Ace was slightly tweaked 
to give you more low end torque which is needed for the purpose of this vehicle. And that is mated to a 5 speed manual transmission. The price of the all new Toyota Light Ace for the panel version is 655,000 pesos. This is in Toyota in BGZ. To sum it up, I like the Light Ace. You may ask why? Well, it is light and it has an Ace. But kidding aside, the value for money that it offers is tremendous. It can perform the same task as its diesel counterparts but on a cheaper cost to you. It is easy to use, drive, and maneuver. You just know when you see a vehicle that you can easily get used to, then it becomes your steady partner for your business. You can buy it brand new and it is a Toyota. So you've got the Toyota reliability right there. To me, that matters a lot because you don't need unnecessary costs that may happen when you are just starting out your business. You just want to do, you just want to have that reliable partner day in and day out while you're out there making things happen. Well, this is the vehicle that definitely can make it happen. This is your trusted business partner. This is the all new Toyota Lightning. That's it. If you found some value on this video, please do subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. As always, drive safe and I'll see you on the next one.